Hello, everyone. My name is Manuel Acevedo. I am a service engineer responsible for the Fast Track Data Migration Benefit. I would like to show you how the migration process works with a Fast Track portal. Go to our site, www.microsoft.com WAC Fast Track, and select Sign In. Enter your credentials. This is the Fast Track homepage. Here, you'll find many great resources to help you plan, onboard, and adopt Microsoft 365. Select View All Migration Resources in the middle of the page. And this is the Migrate page. Let's start by looking at the Learning Center where you can review topics such as prerequisites, project planning, scheduling, security and privacy, and technical architecture. Need to ask a question? Connect with a migration specialist quickly and easily for ad hoc support. The Learning Center is organized by the type of source environment you'd like to migrate. Today, we offer help topics for Exchange and Gmail, and in the future, we'll expand this to other types of migrations, such as Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, and others. Let's learn more about Exchange migration. Click on Exchange and you will find helpful topics like onboarding, the migration process, and security. Some topics have additional resources available for download that can help you in your planning and setup. When you're ready, create a new migration project. The project gives you a quick reference to the configuration steps needed to set up a migration, and once active, gives a quick glimpse of what migration events are up next. Create a project gets you prepared to conduct a fast track assisted migration. You can create as many projects as you like and create multiple projects with the same migration type if needed. Today, we are going to set up a new exchange hybrid project. Give the project a name and don't worry if you make a mistake. The project name can be changed at any time. The default is exchange hybrid, which is what we want. And when you provide a target delivery domain for this mail migration, your project has been created. All projects, both active and completed, across all migration types appear in the tiles on the migration page. Active project cards include references to upcoming events, a brief summary of the events completed and in progress, so you can easily manage the event. There are additional steps needed to configure your migration project, but let's jump to scheduling a migration event. An event is a specific date and time that a specific number of mailboxes or drives begin migrating. The scheduling experience enables users to predefine and forward schedule migrations without needing to know how the underlying migration tools and protocols work. On your project card, select Add Event. Give the event a name to help you identify it on the Migrate page and in Power BI reporting. Select an event type. In this case, we'll be setting up an initial sync event. Select the time zone for the start date and time. This is helpful if you're scheduling events outside of your current time zone and don't want to do the time conversion yourself. Select the day and time you want the migration to start. And select Add Event. From here, you follow the prompts to finish adding your event. Let's jump back to the Migrate page and look at reporting. During the entire process, you'll receive email notifications from event kickoff, ongoing monitoring, and final completion to see migration specifics, including scheduled units, success metrics, and percentage complete. Log into our Power BI interface and get details and data visualizations. Click on the View Results link. This is where you get the username and password to view migration results. Then log into Power BI where you'll see a series of reports with your migration project results. First, the general overview, showing you all events completed and how many mailboxes migrated. A schedules report showing you what upcoming migrations are scheduled and schedule details. An in-flight report shows you details regarding events currently in migration and the completion report, where you can review the results of previously completed migrations. For more information on report details, please visit our Learning Center. And that's it for our demo on the migration experience on the Fast Track portal. Thank you for your time.